we're going to solve these three equations. And you'll note that you need to do some simplifying on each side of the equation first, maybe on one side or maybe on both sides. So for this first one, I notice I can combine my like terms. I have a 6x and a minus 5x. So that is going to be 1x or x plus 20 equals negative 9. And now I've simplified both sides as much as I can. So I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides of the equation in order to get um, x on the left-hand side by itself. So this will give me x plus 0, which is x. And then remember, this means negative 9 plus negative 20. Okay, so that's going to be negative 29, and that should be our answer. Now, the only way you know for sure is to check it. So let's go ahead and check this one. So I'm going to write down the original problem, 6x plus 20 minus 5x equals negative 9. And we're going to simplify both sides after replacing x with negative 29. So in the first one, if I put in negative 29 for x, and then I have plus 20, minus 5, and again, replacing this x also with negative 29. And now, you can get out your calculator to do this, or go on the side and do your arithmetic, but we're going to simplify the left-hand side. So, 6 times negative 29 is negative 174, then I have plus 20, and then negative 5 times negative 29 will be a plus 145. And that's the same thing as negative 174 plus 165, which is negative 9. So this means that negative 29 was the correct answer if you're going to be um, official about this, more formal, we would write the solution using braces. Okay, for these others too, I'm not going to do the check, but you could do that as well for any problem. That's the only way you know um, for sure it's correct. And of course, on a test, that's a good idea. Okay, so let's do the second one here again. I need to simplify both sides of the equation first, and for this particular problem, both sides do need to be simplified. So I have an 11x minus 4 minus 10x. I can combine the like terms 11x and negative 10x, and that'll be 1x, which is x minus 4, and 3 minus 7, same as 3 plus negative 7, is negative 4. All right, now that each side is simplified, I want to isolate the x on the left-hand side, so let's add 4 to both sides. And that will give me x plus 0, which is x, and negative 4 plus 4 is 0. And this one's really easy to check. You could probably do it in your head. If you put in 0 for x on the left-hand side, you'll get 0 minus 4 minus 0. So you get negative 4. And the right-hand side, 3 minus 7 is negative 4. So that one should be easy to check for you. And the formal way of writing the solution is to put the 0 in braces. All right, we're going to do the last one here. 9 minus 2x plus 3x. So I can combine the negative 2x with a plus 3x, and that will give me 9 plus x equals 8. And now we need to isolate the x, so I'm going to subtract 9 from each side. And that gives our answer of x equals negative 1. And that can be checked. Let's just do that real quick. We'll check. 9 minus 2x plus 3x equals 8. Do we get the same number on both sides when we plug in negative 1? Well, I'm going to plug in negative 1 for x here, and negative 1 for x here, and that gives me 9 plus 2 minus 3, which is 11 minus 3, or 8, and so it checks. So that means negative 1 is indeed the solution, and formally we could write that in braces. Hope you learned something.